There are four difficulty settings in God of War to let you scale the challenge according to your skills and preference. The game does a decent job of explaining the first three, but it doesn't go into much detail on the hardest one, Give Me God of War. A lot of players have started a playthrough on this setting only to regret it in the first hour. I'm Mahanawas from Segment Next, and we're going to help you make the decision by explaining what each mode offers in our God of War difficulty settings guide. The lowest difficulty, Give Me a Story, offers an experience that doesn't give the player much of a gameplay challenge. The story is in the name of the mode, as this difficulty is ideal for those who just want to play the game for its story and want the gameplay to be as smooth as Leviathan Axe going through an enemy's gut. This setting reduces the damage that enemies deliver and makes them take more. Also, enemies have lowered resistance to hit reactions, they get stunned easily, their aggressiveness is dumbed down so that enemies don't have resistance against the Leviathan's ranged attacks, and Kratos is very resistant to status effects. The middle child of the difficulty settings, this one is balanced for the players who like reasonable challenges in-game and also want to enjoy the story. It's like the normal mode where you get best of both worlds. This God of War difficulty setting is a demanding combat experience which requires a skill to defeat enemies, since their damage has been increased and are much more resistant. In this difficulty, the enemies have a small power level advantage over Kratos, which improves their stats. Plus, the enemies now have 50 health bonus that deliver more damage and status effect damage. Moreover, enemies' defense gets boosted by 8, they are harder to stun with a slight resistance to axe and bare hand attacks. Though enemies are much more resistant to Leviathan's ranged attacks and Atreus' runic summons. In this difficulty setting, the enemies are more aggressive, absorb the damage or impact from basic attacks, and Immolation and Permafrost charge take much more time to build up. Now it's time to talk about the mother of all difficulty settings, Give Me God of War. Before we dive into it, you should know that you can't jump out of this one when selected, so choose wisely. Needless to say, this setting requires a lot of skill and reflexes. It also has all the attributes of Give Me a Challenge difficulty setting and adds more dynamics to make things more challenging. Here, most enemies take damage and then power up to elite enemies which are stronger and more aggressive, so you need to make sure they don't turn or you done for. Otherwise, enemies take less damage since they have slight boost to their defense and deliver much more status damage that makes harmful status effects to last longer, and they are more potent. Enemies can only be wall pinned while they are mid-air, along with that they can counter attack immediately after taking a hit or blocking an attack. Kratos' movement during combat is much more precise, although he will have fewer advantages when his level is higher than the enemies. Besides that, the frost status effect reduces Kratos' invincibility on evades, poison status reduces power level, burn status effect deals more damage, and Spartan rage meter is filled significantly slowly. As for health pickups, they will reduce status damage and can clear them too. Not only that, in this difficulty setting, the enemies are more resistant to status effects, parry attacks are less effective, and the elite enemies take significantly reduced reactions to Spartan rage, and they don't take less reactions at all. It's easy to get frustrated when even the first combat sequence might take you almost 40 minutes to complete it, but the key is to focus on your threat indicator, dodge like your life depends on it, cause it does, parry for the gods, buy the power hit with R2 and slay, literally. It's safe to say that this mode isn't like the god mode of previous games. And that's all the God of War difficulty settings explained. Hope it helps you choose what you prefer. If it did, then be sure to leave us a like. And don't forget to subscribe to Segment Next for more God of War goodness. Until next time.